Good morning. Good morning to this new month, October. Good morning to the rising sun. Good morning to the ring of power. And good morning to this question where we are meditating with what is this week about? And the second one was, do you know the healing power of sexuality? This is a deep one. <laughs> and I'm standing here at the stone, what we call the snake stone. And I was meditating on this question, what kind of role the snake had in our last centuries by being the one who seduced Eve and Adam. And so she is always very connected to the sexual power. And we also know this symbol of the stick where the snake is around and the snake is also the symbol of healing and the symbol of transformation. And for me it's uh, amazing to look to the change and the shift of cultures where in the former earliest matriarchal cultures you very often see the goddess with the snake in Crete or for example the very old Greek goddess she is called Eurynome. She was the one who, it was the name, she is walking all around the world and she always hold a snake on her shoulders. And so the snake was a very close spirit to connect the human being. And with Christianity and also more early, the snake became evil. And everywhere where the church enters with Christianity and with its mission, it was the symbol that the snake was killed. It's a bit the same like with the dragon. The dragon was killed and this was shown as a human power. And imagine we bring this back to healing. We dance with the snake. When I came to Tamara, I had a lot of fear towards snakes. And when I came here very new, I met the biggest snake I ever have seen. And it was a kind of meeting where all fear disappeared by facing the snake. And we have a lot of snakes here and you can, some of us have this, um, they met the snake, for example, in a lake. And I once had the moment where a snake just here touched me in the water. And it was a very, very sensitive meeting. So by overcoming the snake, you recognize that not the snake is evil, it's something else where what we fear so much. And if I go to the question of sexuality, there I feel it's a bit the same. The, if you really are aware to the miracle of Eros, for me it's life energy. It's the healing power. And then I don't mean only the sexual encounters between human beings, but I mean that we are in matter looking to the sexuality, we face the mystery of life in the center where we cannot explain that much, but we can face it and we can study it, we can learn to understand it. How do these powers work in a healing way? And then if I open the newspaper, I see at the moment again the whole story of the church comes to revelation how many children were misused from the so-called popes or priests. What is happening? And so then often we think, okay, sexuality is evil. We have to take care more and more and more and to exclude it. But the more we suppress sexual, sexual energies, the more they become violent. But by facing them and being ready to recognize the power, the healing power can appear. And it's sacred. Imagine churches where the sacredness of sexuality is again in the center. 
and where we know that we all are coming from a sexual encounter of our parents, embracing each other. This made me as a person possible to enter this life. So I invite to the future universities that we have study places where we understand the inner laws of this secretness of life, of the moment of creation, of the moment of receiving, and that we as human beings learn to dance with this power in a way that its healing power can appear. And this morning I was full of gratitude for the last week. We are in a so-called love school at the moment with students from all over the world. Even myself as teacher feel myself as student in front of these powers. And I express my gratitude that we could look so deep in the secret of life together and that we this week will still harvest in a way that it can help us to be peace workers on this globe. So may this week be a week where healing powers come to our recognition and that we all learn to deal with the healing powers of sexual energy in the right way. Yeah, may this week be a blessed week and thank you that we are in Meta. <laughs> Someone said that I should sing at the end and I will try to sing a bit. And by singing I don't know what will come but I in my imagination I connect with the snake with the movement of the snake. So I greet the snakes on this planet with all their beauty. Aho.